Greetings ladies and gentlemen, people from the interwebs, my name is DJ Ignite and I'll be your host for this afternoon. I'm not really a DJ but neither are you, so... Welcome to episode 5, completing a song. Um... Yeah, in this episode we're going to, I'm going to be explaining how and why you should check your song, final adjustments, basic mastering, addition and subtractions to a song, pre-render setup and testing out your exported product. Um, yeah, so we should be able to cover all of this in one episode, so I'll start the timer and away we will go. Alright, so, as you've seen in the last episode, I, cr I changed the song a little bit, as you can see here, and let's just pretend that this is the finished song, so you've spent, you know, a good portion of your life uh, making this song and you're now ready to slap it on YouTube and get about five views in a, in a month. <laughs> All that hard work's gonna pay off. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but not really. Uh, what you want to do is for a song of any caliber, no matter how good or how experienced or inexperienced you are, you're watching these because you are inexperienced or inexperienced at FL Studio. I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. Let's just... When you finish a song... <laughs> when you finish a song, you want to check it over many, many times. And you know that you've checked it too many times when you actually get sick and tired of it. But that also means that you need to check it at least 10 more times. Um, the reason being is because I will almost guarantee that you'll make a song you'll export it in the highest possible quality, you'll do all that shit, put it online, and then you'll listen to it. And then there will come a time where you listen to it and you'll hum something new, or you'll wish that you had changed something, or you're like, oh, I really wish I'd turned that snare down a little bit, or I wish I added in an extra kick there, or an extra hat, or an extra chord, or an extra instrument, or took that instrument out. And you'll wish that you did that while you were checking over the song. And it's very easy to miss these sorts of things if you listen to the same song over and over again because you know what's coming, but you're not... Although you're trying to analyse it, you're not analysing in the same way you would as a third person would. So, say, some random person stumbling across your song listening to it because some people do actually have a, an opinion and some people will actually voice those opinions and half the time you won't like them. But too bad. You can never make a song that will please everyone. And, uh, yeah, the only thing you can do is just make a song that you like and hopefully other people will like, and that's the whole idea of making music, is you just make it because you love it. You love music. Enough of my rambling. I'm making a fool of myself. So, yeah, you want to check it once. You want to check it twice. You want to check it thrice, as I say. But you'll check it more than that anyways. And you'll hear some things. All right, so we'll just listen to the first few seconds. Alright, straight away, I can tell. The treble of the piano is too quiet. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to select the treble. And we're going to beef it up a little. We'll do I do this wavery thing to give it a bit of humanization effect, so if it's all just one flat line, you can tell it's been done by a computer. What happened here? Huh. Interesting. I see. There we go. So I've just done a quick, quick alteration to the piano because I thought it would benefit the song. Let's listen to it. Right, straight away, this is too loud. And I believe that last one to be just right. 
So let's listen to it again. that pitch starts too early. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, eh, I'm going to raise half of it because I want to. Now this is very difficult to do without a pencil tool. And even so it's still difficult to do because it's a fucking tiny line. The good thing about the pencil tool is it sticks to those graphs no matter what. So you can accomplish, you can do it slightly faster, especially if they're all in the same line on the graph as you'll see here. They all move as one, which is excellent. Okay, we have our starting point. About bloody time. Back to the paintbrush. Right, let's see how that's. Cool. Alright. I feel like there should be a bit of appreciation for the piano, so. Just quickly, back in pattern one, I'm going to play this over a bit. something out. So let's go to an empty pattern. Uh, yeah, empty pattern, song mode. And this is recording in song mode. Giving myself a run up. space there but that's cool there's my little piano solo thing quantize and that is all over the shop which is an absolute pain in the sphincter <sighs> this is gonna be fun all right what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this up and I'll get right back to you Okay, I'm back and I've just arranged everything all nicely and added an ending to our aspiring song. And I've just noticed that these things aren't going to end with it, but that's okay. start again. So uh, yeah, that is quite nice indeed. I We did our once, our twice, our thrice over. Now we're going to want to set up our sample rates. So 
back in the first episode or the second for 1.2 I showed you on the audio settings to turn your resampling all the way down to linear or six point hermit for when you're making the song and then when you export it you want to turn it all the way up to 256 or 512 so let's do that I will turn it up to 512 yes FL Studio does like to warn you that your computer will be slow as hell if you try this but because our song is only um, what well, not even a minute long it will be fine we're also going to go up here and we're going to name this song so we're going to call this our drug name FLST or Fruity Loop Studio Tutorial and it's going to be by Ignite and under the genre it's going to be tutorial so this is the tutorial that one can find oh, let's just fuck shit up ah oh, fucking caps lock youtube.com forward slash ignite I will place this song up for free download sort of file sharing for all of your greens with for full free because I'm <laughs> almost gave that away I'm here scored your game. Smiley face. Smiley fucking face. There you go. An hour and 15 minutes I spent doing this. So. Yeah, I won't even bother elaborating in that. And you, you don't have to accept or anything. You just close. And that's it. Go back into it. It's there. So. We've done this now. We're going to export it. So to do that, we go to file. File, not edit. You go to export. And we have the choice of WAV, MP3, OGG, or MIDI file. For the sake of quality, we're going to do it in a WAV format. Excuse me. And we're just going to do it straight to the desktop. I'm going to call it FLST, our favourite drug name. And by Ignite. And I don't think it will like that comma. Well, most programs don't. And I just turn fucking caps lock on again. And scroll lock. No, that's just my hard drive like Cool. Don't worry about me. Now, because it's in a wave, we can set our bit depth, which will be 16-bit. That is a very good quality. You might think that the higher it is, the better quality it is, but I've always been told 16-bit is a fucking high quality. So, I won't bother playing with those. We are exporting in wave. We can also export as an MP3, OGG, or MIDI at the same time, which will take longer. This slider only concerns MIDI and OGG format which is the bitrate in kilobits per second it's a lowercase b so it's kilobits for all you Nazis data Nazis out there looping mode that's uh, about the end of the song it will do something I have it drawn in a, my little pad thing somewhere but yeah um, it's in song mode Keep in mind, if you're in pattern mode when you try to export, it will only export the pattern. So if I had pattern 1 selected, it will only export that little square, and that's all you'll get. You'll get like 10 seconds worth of song. Quality. 512 point sync. Now, keep in mind, we also did that in our sound settings, which I can't show you because this window is priority. The reason why I do it both is I don't know why, but you do it. Um, dithering, anti-aliasing, high quality for and disable maximum polys, I really, I don't really know. Dithered to 16-bit output, which it's already 16-bit anyways. Uh, we don't really care about any of those. Delay compensation. Cool, let's start. Ding, 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 ding. And if it's a really long song and you want to play your games, background rendering, done. And there's all my tutorial shit. Let me show you something. Episode 1.1. If it'll show me. There we go. 22.2 gigs that fucking episode is. Oh, it's already done. Cool. So we can just close that. And our song, FLST there. So what was... We're going to test it. So in order to ensure that nothing has gone wrong during the rendering process, or exporting process, we're going to open up uh, various different 
media players or sound players and we're going to play them to see how they sound. So I'm going to play Media Player Classic. That all sounds good. Awesome, we know that that works. Nothing seems to sound wrong. I'm going to open up iShit, I mean iTunes. And it likes to take its time sometimes. There we go. Oh, there's our 15 minute timer, but we'll go a little bit over just for the sake of this episode. Come on, stop doing stupid shit, iTunes. Thank you. We're going to open up a new folder called our test. Or playlist, sorry. Slap it in there. Slap it in there. That's oh, fuck's sakes. And press play. And yeah, it all seems to work fine. But you can also test it a little bit further, like I do. Put it on your phone, listen to it through your phone speakers, and also you can play it through your car stereo if you have a car, or can actually drive a car, or have a decent car stereo in your car if you do have a car. But uh, or play it through your house stereo or whatever. I'd like to play them through various different. Um, sound producing devices such as phone speakers, car speakers, my headphones. I have three different headphones as well as earphones and I also have two different speaker systems in the house. I've got my Logitech 5.1 majiggers and a thingy out in the lounge room with the TV and sometimes I'll go so anal that I'll listen to the same song through every single one to make sure that I'm not missing out something because each speaker and each sound setup will play a song differently and it can actually reveal some some artifacts or some sort of sound that you